Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit defined sharing rules from the module data security. This is the last unit of this module. So here we are going to create a custom picklist field by the name priority on our custom object project, which we had already created in control access to records unit of this same module. So make sure you are using the same Trailhead playground, which you used while creating this project object. Right now, next, this custom pick list field priority will hold three values, high, medium, and low. And once this is done, we have to create a sharing rule based on criteria that we have to share all the project uh, records with the training coordinator. So this is a type of, uh, this is the role uh, we have in our org training coordinator. So we have to share all the project records, which has high priority uh, or we can say the high priority records of project object, we have to share with training coordinator. So this is the simple uh, gist of the challenge that we have to perform. So quickly launch your trailhead playground. And I have already done that. Go to home setup page, click on object manager as we have to create a new custom field on a project object. So in quick find type project, and it will filter out the custom object, which we want uh, to create a field on this. So click on this, go to fields and relationship and click on new. Then select the data type of the field. In our case, it has to be pick list. So select pick list and click on next. Now here we have to provide the details of the field like label. So I will be copying the label from the challenge itself, which is priority and copy it, paste it in the label text area over here. Select uh, for the values, select the second option. We are going to enter it one by one. We're not going to use global pick list value set. So values will be, uh, I'm going to copy it from here and paste it in this text area. Now, next, we do not have to change anything. Uh, click on next button. And here it is mentioned that make the field visible to all profiles and add it to all page layout. So. Clicking on next, it will lead you to this field level security for profile. So these are all the profiles that are there in our org. And against that, there are two permission, visible and read only. So we have to make sure that all these check boxes are checked against all these profiles. So if you can see, there are a few profiles whose uh, the, for th these profiles checkbox is deselected. So what we'll do is we are going to se select this visible checkbox in uh, on the top, and this will select all the remaining checkboxes as well. So we have to make sure that we select this permission. Click on next, and again we have to uh, see that this checkbox is also selected because we want that it should be this field should be visible on all page layout. So as of now we have only one page layout. So select this checkbox. And finally, click on save. So this will create a custom pick list field by the name priority, as you can see over here. Now it's time for us to create or to share project records of high priority. We can say high priority records we have to share with training coordinator. So how we can do that in quick find, just type sharing and it will filter out an option sharing setting for you. So click on this option. Now here we have to search uh, our project object under sharing rule section. So this is the sharing rule section and you can see there are different different objects standard, both customs, uh, both standard and custom object. We have to search for our custom one, which is project. So you'll scroll down to bottom. You will find this project sharing rule. So we have to create a new one, click on this new and the name or the label for this rule. I'm going to copy it from the challenge copy this and paste it over here in the label text area. Rule name will be auto-populated. Now for this select your rule type, it has it will be a, a criteria based. So click on this criteria based radio button. Now we have to specify criteria over here. So our criteria is if priority equals to high. So clicking on this lookup button, select high pick list value, click on insert selected. Now we have to share this with roles and under roles, we have one training coordinator role. So select this role over here. We have to share this uh, sh uh, these records with high priority with training coordinator. 
So select the users to share with. I've selected training coordinator under roles. Right now, this has to be read only as it is mentioned in our challenge that access level has to be read only. That's all you had to do over here. Click on save, click OK. So now this will uh, calculate our sharing setting and eventually it will save it. Then next we have make sure the org wide defaults for the project object are also set to private. So how we can see that scroll, okay, scroll down here in organization wide default, we have to check if our object project uh, it is private. So if it is private, we do not have to change anything. That is fine. Uh, we are good to go. But if it is not, click on this edit button and go to the project object in this list. Here you will you will have to select private here. Uh, it is already selected in my case. So if it is if at all it is uh, something else for your case, you have to select this private option. Right? Click on save and you will be good to go. So now it's time for us to check our challenge. So go to bottom and click on check challenge to earn 500 points. And let's just wait for it to give out the output. Hopefully we should be able to pass this challenge. Let's just wait. There you go. This unit as well as this module is completed. See you in the next video with another such modules and units. Till then take care and make sure you subscribe our channel. Thank you.